I've been using the Brevetti jumper for about eight months. It's a pretty popular bag at this point. This specifically is the Brevetti jumper photo. Originally launched as just the jumper, Brevetti has capitalized on the popularity and they now have a jumper photo and a jumper every day. I definitely accidentally bought the jumper every day and then had to cancel the order and then bought the photo. I feel like the photo's kind of the better buy if you have a camera because the sweet spot for this bag is a backpack that doesn't look like a camera bag that sometimes you can put your photo gear in, but if you need to open the flap on the inside and make it a full compartment backpack and use it for backpack things, you can do that too. The jumper photo is built out of 600D polyester fabric. It's tightly woven. The zippers have held up well. They're not branded, but most of the zippers that matter for your upper and lower compartments are all double zipped, which is good. The laptop compartment and the camera zip and this side pocket here are not double zipped. The back of the bag has padding because it does have a laptop pocket. And then the bottom of the bag is padded for the camera gear. This double padding creates an L shape to the bag and gives it a more rigid structure than I was expecting. I thought this was gonna be more along the lines of like a rucksack um, that was a little more, you know, kind of flexy, but still had like a rigid like snoop area in the bottom for your camera gear. However, overall it's just, it pretty much holds its shape all the time, kind of like a photo bag. I think that's fine. It's just, you know, you wanna, like what are you expecting whenever you're buying a bag? Because of the way that the bag is rigid on the top and the side, it suffers from lean like most bags do. I keep holding it up, but the jumper photo is ought to lean forward. And so either when you set it down, it's never gonna sit on its butt. Uh, it's either gonna be on the front like this or it's gonna be on the back. So you have to decide, do you want the front of your bag to be dirty or do you want the back of your bag to be dirty there for getting your back dirty? As mentioned, the laptop pocket is single zipped. All your main pockets here are double zipped. The zippers have a heat shrink around them and it gives them a nice little texture for the poles. I haven't had any problems with these zipper poles. Usually uh, they'll, they'll come unbraided and then you'll, you'll lose the pole eventually, but the heat shrink really helps keep the zippers in place. I haven't had any sort of zipper misalignment. On the occasion, these top zippers will catch on the flap of the bag and then you have to kind of get them uncaught. Uh, but that's really the exception and not the rule. On the bottom, there are straps that adjust so that you can slide a tripod or a jacket or, or something in to secure to the outside of your bag. I think that if you didn't have anything in the camera compartment, you could probably use them to compress the bag, but they're more of a, an add-on than anything. And I think that if you were gonna strap a tripod to the bottom of the bag with these, it goes to kind of my main point on this bag, which is it can hold a lot more weight then you probably want to put in it. And so I don't think I would actually strap a tripod to the bottom of it because it would make the bag far too heavy, especially if there was a laptop and, and a camera and some lenses in there. The shoulder straps are a little squishy. They're foamed on the inside. Uh, they're not like the, you know, woven like grid type pattern that you find in a Jansport or anything. They're just foam. They are two inches wide. And I really wish that they were more substantial, especially for the amount of stuff that you can put in this bag and the amount of weight that it can hold. There's no cross body strap here at all. There's no waist strap really like this is, this is what you get. Um, I kind of wish there was something extra to hold, hold the weight whenever you're, you're loaded down. If you have, you know, all of your gear in there and a laptop, but uh, it doesn't really cause too much sway, which was kind of my other concern, was if, you're, if you have to like run to catch a train or a small child or a puppy, you, like you don't want your bag to be, you know, swonging all over the place. Um, and I haven't really, no issue here, right? It's secures up, 
There's no, no sway, so that's good. And, uh... This side pocket is meant to also hold a tripod or a gorilla pod or a water bottle, and it is big enough to hold a 32 ounce Nalgene, which is great. And then the way that they configured this, the elastic straps and the way that they pleated this pocket, uh, help it lie pretty flat whenever it's not in use. And so I really like, I really like the side pocket. And then if you do put something taller in there, there is a clasp that comes around and you can clasp it in and then tighten this down. And this has a nice little aluminum buckle on there. Buckle's the wrong word. It's like a clasp or a little hook. There's actually no buckles on this bag at all. Everything is a tightening strap or this, you know, an aluminum clasp. But beyond that, no buckles. Next, let's talk about stitching. Everywhere where a strap connects to the bag that you can see, some of these are, um, you know, sewn in so they come into the bag and you don't see the actual strap stitch connection. But for most of your stitching locations, everything is cross stitched where it's connected. Um, where it's visible, and that's nice to see. So your your connections here are all cross stitched, and so those should hold up pretty well. I haven't had any stitch locations tear, no snags. Everything is is sewn together really well. It's all holding up great, and that's with you know trips and camping. And um, I'm not necessarily easy on this bag. I am kind of easy on it because it's not super great at protecting what's inside of it, which we'll get to. Uh, but it's, it's held up satisfactory. Last thing I want to mention here on materials is uh, branding. So you have your Rivetti logo here. You got the little uh, deer situation happening on the front. Um, same color as the bag, but slightly different. Really hard to tell on the most subtle color that they sell, but on the lighter colors, uh, like the, the light blue, this is a little more visible. And then lastly, in a reflective um, print here, it says Brevette on the luggage strap. So not too much branding. I think it is pretty subtle and I'm happy with it. So overall, not too crazy. I wish the jumper photo had more pockets. That's it. I said it. Come at me. You have your top section, which is great. And then it has a slash pocket in it for a little bit of extra subdivision. That's good. When you're doing anything with photo stuff, you have so many like just little stupid things like filters and SD cards and little napkins and just all the things and there's just I want more places to put the things I wish this bag had more pockets we have like a side pocket here which is good for if you have like a color checker and you got stuff in the front and then you have this in front pocket where it has slots in it that are perfectly sized for filters and you can you know, put four, eight filters in there. They're big enough that you can stack two next to each other if you, unless you're using like a, like a filter book and then you could probably slide it in sideways and then you could use these little front pockets for maybe like hard drives or, or something. So some subdivision in this front, but it's not super thick. So you can't put a lot of things in there. When I have a few filters in there and then a drone charger, that's kind of about it. And it, if you put a bunch of stuff in here, and then you put a bunch of stuff in the back, like you put your laptop in the back of your bag. And then you put your camera gear in here. There's only so much horizontal width or depth to the bag rather. And I worry about things pressing into each other like this. I put the color checker in here, but if I put anything else in here, I mean, it's going to press against the laptop, which is going to press against the camera. And 
when you put the Nalgene, if you have something really thick in the side, then it cuts into the space on the, on the inside. You can see it's pressing right, right into where I'm keeping the drone there. Because it has all these extra pockets that you can use and it's great. And, and, one, and in one breath, it's not enough pockets for all the little things that you want to have with you. Like I wish that maybe there was a pocket on the side here or another pocket here or like one more, I don't know. There's not enough subdivision, but then at the same time, it's like carry your, your water bottle and your laptop and your camera and all your things and your drone and your tripod. And then like the tripod's pushing on the bottom of the bag and it's compressing your camera compartment and your laptop's getting smushed. And the thing you have to keep in mind with this bag is that it's, it's a small bag, medium bag. It's 18 liters, a medium Timbuktu is 21 liters, a Jansport's maybe 23 liters. And so the capacity of the bag is the capacity of the bag. When, when I first got this bag and I had just come, we just come back from a trip and I had my, my medium Timbuktu loaded up with, you know, cameras and lenses and uh, my, my laptop and just a, bu a bunch of stuff. And it was, it was full, full to the brim. And part of the reason that I wanted this one was because I thought that, you know, if you can put the laptop on the bag and it's better, it's smaller capacity, but if it's better arranged, then it's not gonna be so much of a problem. It's not one big giant bucket. And when I put everything that was in my 21 liter medium Timbuktu bag into this bag, it was as full as it could be. And I just, I tell you that story mostly to highlight that the capacity of the bag is the capacity of the bag. And you have to keep in mind that this is an 18 liter bag. You're gonna put one or two lenses in there or a drone and a camera and one-ish lens and maybe your laptop and a couple accessories. And like, that's about it. You're not gonna, you're not gonna do your tripod and your drone and your camera and your laptop and a, a monitor or your Rubik's Cube or whatever. It's, it's not that big of a bag. So for an 18 liter bag, I can say that it holds 18 liters. As far as the snoop area, this is how I arranged my snoop area and I'm using my 7D as a stand-in for the Fuji there. Um, and so it's a little, little tighter because it is a DSLR instead of a mirrorless camera. And this is kind of about the best that you can do as far as layouts for the, for the bag. I've tried other things, but like the camera has to go here because your, you know, side pole is on this side. And then you can put a few things on the side, so maybe like a lens. And this is a Tamron 85 millimeter. This is a 24 to 70 EF. And then I have a Mavic Air 2 batteries and then a Nifty 50, so. This is an option of a layout. These subdividers can move around. You can take them all out completely, but they don't really hold their positioning very well. The things within the bag kind of move around. So I've put a lens here, but it's there's still a lot of vertical space within the bag, which is because this can be pretty full. And if you're moving around a lot, and then you go and you open up your bag, it's fine, but I've, I've found situations where my lens is hanging out like this, or it's rolled and it's now two lenses on top of each other and on the bottom of the bag. And so you could put a lens up here on this side, but it's not great because it kind of like heavier lenses fall over. And then you could put your lens down here on this side of the bag, but it's not really great at protecting your lenses um, in a drop. I mean, this is pretty, a pretty thin, thin fabric on the bottom and we'll, we'll get into that more later. The Snoop's great. You can rearrange it however you want to, but there are some deficiencies just within, within working with it. And so for me, like I'll put my notebook like right there on top of the gear just to keep it from falling out, which I feel like is something I shouldn't have to do. And it's kind of a weird workaround, but like it keeps everything where it's supposed to be, uh, which is, you know, it's, it's, it's kind of a problem as far as the Snoop goes. Lastly, for the laptop sleeve, it is sold as large enough to hit, fit a 16 inch MacBook Pro. I believe it will. I haven't tested it with one. It fits my 13 inch 
just fine. It will not fit a 15 inch surface book. Just won't do it. It's too thick. So keep that in mind. If you're a Mac person, um, your Mac laptop is going to fit. If you're not a Mac person and you have a thicker laptop, then uh, compare the uh, compare the dimensions against against the 16-inch MacBook Pro. <sighs> that's that's probably the best you can do. Also, I wouldn't want to put a 16-inch laptop in here. It'd be so heavy. Woof. So, to simulate dropping the jumper, I put drinking glasses. So I'm not gonna drop it with lenses, you monster. I put drinking glasses in the long part where you would put a 70 to 200 on the side, on the side, and then where you would put the camera. We dropped it at three feet, six feet, and 10 feet, roughly. And I was super <laughs> disappointed with the results of the drop test. Cue footage. We're not gonna cue the footage there. Okay, this is the three foot drop test. At three feet, nothing really broke. Everything definitely moved in the bag. The lenses shifted down. Um, I had a, a coffee mug and the handle broke off, which, fine. Uh, at six feet, we had one of the glass glasses shatter. And then at 10 feet, it was, it was just completely game over. Um, we did a second drop at six feet and then all the glass was shattered by the end of it. So four drops. Nothing survived. It's, this thing is not built to take drops. Um, yes, lenses are more durable than drinking glasses. Um, the glass that they use in there is, is just, it's just gonna hold up better, but there's a lot of mechanisms uh, in a modern lens with the autofocusing and the multiple elements and something's gonna break if you drop this bag and you have your lenses in it. Um, you could probably, you know, cushion it a little bit. Uh, I think that if you don't put anything in this bottom section, like if you maybe put your lenses in the front section or put them, like what I've done here and what I often do is, I know I have the drone here, but I will put a lens here and then I'll put like my, my road mic here so that if it does fall, there's a little extra cushion. I haven't had any lenses break, I haven't had any cameras break, eight months of use, perfectly fine. But as far as performance in the drop test, not successful. I did have this bag hanging off the, not hanging off, I'm not a monster. I did have this bag sitting on the back of a beach cart, driving down the beach about 15 miles an hour, 10 miles an hour, and the bag fell off and it rolled to a stop and I had my drone and my Fuji X-T3 and two lenses in there and nothing broke. It was all fine, but sand got in the bag. It was zipped completely shut and sand still got into the bag. And that's kind of leads us into the water test. This top zipper that has your laptop in it has a, it's almost rubber type material that clasps around the zipper whenever it's closed. Um, I think this helps with a little bit of water penetration on the top. Um, I was concerned about this because, I mean, this is the top of the bag. If you're caught in the rain, I'm top of the bag, right? This front pocket has a little bit of a lip over it, right? The fabric bends over and so you have like a, like a little sheeting hood for, for water flow. But the laptop pocket, not so much luck in that department. But the inside is like a nylon, it's a nylon material. It's not like a, like a cotton fabric. I mean, the whole bag's polyester nylon, right? Um, so I'm splitting fabric hairs at this point, but it is a, it's a more waterproof type material. 
When we did the water test, I put some toilet paper into the back of the, into the laptop sleeve and it didn't get extremely wet. So I think that the combination of this top zipper part and the material in, in the laptop sleeve will keep your laptop more safe than the rest of the bag, but super not waterproof. For this top part, same material for most of the inside here that polyester type material. But the sides here are the softer nylon material. And then the separation between the top bag and the camera compartment is just Velcro. So if you do get water in here, it's 100% getting into the rest of your backpack. And lastly, these two compartments. Your filter compartment, completely exposed zipper. That's not gonna stop any water. Your camera compartment, it has a bit of a seal around it, but it's not like the laptop. It's not that waterproofing material. It's not a waterproofing material, but it's not like a rubber material that doesn't absorb. It's just, it's more nylon. And then whenever you open up the camera compartment, soft fabric to keep everything nice and cozy soft fabric all the way around. This just soaks water. Water goes straight through the 600D fabric, gets this nice and wet. This bag is not waterproof at all. It's not water resistant. If you get hosed or rained or what have you, your gear is getting wet. Brevetti does sell a rain fly for this. Uh, I would buy it. I would 100% buy it. It wasn't available whenever I bought this bag or I didn't see it, so I don't have one yet. I'm gonna get one because I took this camping and it rained like at least half the time. And so I had to make sure to keep my bag in the car, which fine, I'm glad that I had the, had the chance to do that. But nothing would have survived. It's this, it's not waterproof. Don't expect any waterproofing. Buy the rain fly. Um, and just, just know that going in. Okay. Not okay. That's not how you start, it's Daniel. Not, it's not okay. As currently configured, when the laptop's in the jumper. This weighs 16 pounds. If I take the if I take the water bottle out, it weighs it weighs 15 pounds. But that's drone controller, microphone, Mavic Air, two batteries, two lenses, camera, drone, battery charger, two T5s, one filter. I think there's a few spare batteries in there too. It's not crazy. I would even go to say that this is what they advertise. When you look on Brevetti's website, it says, hey, you can carry your laptop, camera, three lenses, a drone, a tripod, a water bottle, and extra change of clothes. For these two inch straps, without a without a cross brace on the chest. That's a lot of weight to just to just carry. And they're not they're not great straps. They're cushy and comfortable, but this bag as designed for its size and the straps that it has 10 pounds is is the most that I like to carry in it. And that is nowhere near the actual like divider capacity of it. And I think that's fine. It's, it's just you have to know what you're getting into. Um, you can fill this bag up to way more capacity than it should carry. I think that's one of my biggest issues with this bag is that they sell it as, put your tripod in here, 
put in a drone, a camera, and an extra lens, and your laptop, and your Rubik's Cube, and your cassette player, and you're good to go. You go on your adventure, but your bag weighs 17 pounds. And if you're going to carry 17 pounds worth of gear, you're going to want something that distributes the weight a little better, that's more comfortable, that's not going to kill your shoulders after a couple hours. And this isn't that bag. It's not a camera bag where you're bringing all of your gear because you're going to go shoot. It's more of you're going to go do a thing and you want to have your camera with you. Now, when this is loaded down, part of my concern is that the laptop divider is attached to the straps. And I thought, huge design flaw, right? I mean, you have your laptop in here and you're picking it up. It's, it's, right, it's right on that seam, it's right on that zipper. I mean, what if this breaks? Like, what's gonna happen? Um, you can see that whenever it is weighted down, there's a, this, the way that they did the seam on the bag and the stitching, there's a, a stitch that runs right along that weight channel. So like whenever you're loaded up, it's a straight line through. And then this seam here holds the weight of the bag with the strap. And I think that's a pretty clever design for being able to have this component, this opening on the back, but then also be able to still distribute the weight appropriately. So we should be pretty good here, even though the laptop opening splits the bag as far as your weight versus your carry location. It's a, it's a pretty good design. It can hold the weight, it can carry the weight, it can fit the weight, um, but do you really want to? I'm a tall person. The straps adjust pretty easy and back's fine as far as fitment and where it sits on the back and if I needed to, you know, be like a, a hip high schooler or something and wear it all the way down. Totally can do that too. That's really more so that dropping this one quickly so I can pull my arm out and then getting to the camera. The camera, as you can see here, this one's heavier because it's a 7D. I still kind of have this issue with the X-T3 where, um, and there's not a second lens in here, but it's just moves around. Everything in there moves around. But, a quick access is really nice. Flip it around. You can do that. Um, you're not gonna be able to get to the rest of the bag without setting it down. Probably not too much of a problem. And then once again, these straps are pretty easy to adjust on the fly. So that you can get it where you need to go and then you can easily drop it. I haven't had any problems with these buckles specifically. They are plastic. I kind of wish that they were something a little more durable. As I mentioned before, it's a similar contraption on the bottom of the bag and Whenever I loosen these up to stuff my jacket in here, this buckle broke. And first use, it was, it was pretty disappointing. So these aren't very durable. I'm probably gonna buy some metal clasps and just replace these. I mean, it's, it's a simple standard part. So I don't think this is enough to like deter you from getting this bag, but just keep in mind that these plastic buckles are probably, they're not buckles. These plastic slides are probably the weakest link on the bag so far. Never felt like I had to have a chest strap or a waist strap. Um, holds up pretty good. Doesn't sway around too much. All in all, it's a pretty straightforward backpack, right? It's, it's a backpack first, it's a photo bag second. I think I would pitch it like this. This is, this is for a casual photo or video shooter. It's for somebody who wants to have a bag with them because they're gonna bring a few more things and they can carry in their pocket and they just also want their camera. But they wanna have their camera in here and they wanna have a microphone and maybe that's it. 
Maybe sometimes they put their drone in their bag, they have their water bottle on the side, outside of the gear compartment, and, and that's it. You know, you're, you're bringing a bag with you, and then you also want to have your camera. I really like the jumper. Every time I use it, I get compliments. People are like, oh man, that's a sweet bag, or oh gosh, why is it so bright? And then if I say, oh yeah, and it's a, it's a camera bag, typically that's a surprise. Like they don't expect this to be a camera bag. There are so many compromises with this product from how heavy it is to if you put something in this compartment, it's gonna impact something in that compartment to the drop test, to the water test. It's compromised all the way around, but also it's super cool. And so if you want it, I think you should buy it. I think, it's, I, think you'll, I think you'll enjoy it, you'll like it, it's gonna be good for you. But if you're looking for an actual camera bag, there are more purpose-built products that are better than this. But if you're just looking for something that's cool, I would I'd buy it. I mean, I did buy it, so. Cool. Wrap. Cut.